back again and uh, we said we're going to take a look at post COVID-19 and of course taking a critical look at the education sector. One of the most hit as we speak today of this COVID-19 uh, situation has to do with students, uh, so to speak, the education sector in general, from primary to secondary university students, everybody, you know, they've been affected very critically. But then in the new norm, we found out that what we didn't want to do or what we chose not to want to do at that time became the norm today. Everybody is now technological, uh, technology savvy, whether you like it or not. A teacher who didn't like it before had been compelled by compulsion to like it. A student who was like a decical before this time had no choice now but to say, Daddy, when are you getting me money for data because I need to do my online uh, learning? And this has, this, this has become the norm. And today, we are happy to say that um, about uh, some corporate organizations are really supporting the state government in the drive to stabilize, not just stabilize, but to see how this online learning thing for in the education sector will be the new way of life. And to discuss with us today, as someone who, is not, who does not need an introduction, again, no, he doesn't need an introduction. Uh, he's an, a, a, a specialist, uh, an expert in his own right as a consultant in the education sector, and a technology savvy individual, and a pride a proud member of this, a Christ Church University, if I'm still correct, uh, in the UK. We well, thank you so very much, Mr. Duruti Adiboye. We say a big welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. Craig. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, viewers. It's good to have you back again. My great pleasure. I know you've been doing a lot with the state government in this area we are talking about, but it came as a novel thing to see people responding to support government at this time. Willingly, willingly. They are giving out and supporting to say, we are for you, we are with you. This online thing is really boosting the, the support for people. How do you see this development? Um, remember, we are Africans. By nature, we are very, very charitable. Hmm. Yeah, we love to be our brother's keeper. Hmm. When COVID-19 uh, happened on us, a big corporate concerns came together to form what they call COVID. Mm -hmm. We're putting a lot of money behind uh, the administration of uh, Mr. Governor uh, Babajide Sonwulu mm -hmm. to uh, uh, mitigate the impact of COVID-19 across sector. First of all, starting with uh, uh, the provision of uh, 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 care facility, medical care facility. Mm -hmm. To support the yeah. government. Uh, I recall that Guarantee Trust Bank were the first to uh, build uh, yeah, isolation an isolation center, center mm -hmm. at the Unicorn Waterfront, just so close to the governor's house there. And then every other person started joining. Every other organization began to look at where we can, where they can come in, where they can lend their support. Mm -hmm. Of course, the education sector is not left behind uh, as one of the sectors that uh, greatly suffered from the impact of COVID-19. And uh, we have seen a lot of, the government took the lead. The government was doing a lot of things, and the corporate organization, including well-meaning individuals, you know, decided to lend a hand, making provision for uh, devices. I was at the presentation of uh, some mobile devices mm. by First Bank Nigeria PLC. They delivered 20,000 in the first instance, That's and true. I recall their managing director, group managing director, uh, promising that uh, they are going up to 1 million. Wow. Yes. Look at what that means to us, right? In reaching it's out to the, the students out there. Exactly. And what makes it more interesting is that these corporate concerns themselves, in their businesses, they are suffering losses. They are not operating at the, mm. uh, at the optimum. At the optimum of right. the economy. So regardless yes. of that situation, they are mm. still able to dip their hands into their wallets to, you know, churn out <coughs> an enormous amount of money to, to, to do this. And we say kudos. It's not just First Bank. Earlier this week, the Council of Wise of Lagos State official. Council. Council. Mm. I'm sure you were also there. Yeah, I was there. I was there. Very interesting. Uh, 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 I event they, they gave to the Ministry of Education 5,000 pieces of radio set. This radio set, they are normal radio set, but they are essentially targeted at the hard to reach 
areas of the state. In the state. Yes. I looked at the device and I looked at what if they don't have light? It's meant to, you know, have a very long battery life and can be charged with a USB cable. Wow. Anyway. It makes it easier for yes. them to recharge. And the, ba the battery is rechargeable. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this mm -hmm. is a great uh, uh, stretch forth of the hand by council. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that the government is grateful to them. Council, corporate organizations all coming up to live Even up to the individuals. I just, individual. I just don't want to start uh, We know, anything. we know. But in it's all, but <coughs> all you, I'm happy you've been part, you are part of all of these development. Uh, but what is it saying now? How is it going to stretch the entrenchment of stabilizing this online teaching, if I may ask that? Because some people are saying, well, it means we're not going back. Mm -hmm. We're not going back to the usual things again. That is with all of this support we are saying. Is that correct to say? I think no man should attempt to predict the future, trusting his prediction with absolute exactness. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You can make forecasts. Hmm. If you call it a forecast, there is a probability of it happening and there is a probability of it ha not happening. Hmm. Between the two continuum, you will find yourself located somewhere. That's right. Now, with COVID-19, clearly, clearly, the paradigm has shifted. With COVID-19, the paradigm has shifted. Mm. We have found ourselves in this situation. We are responding not as individuals anymore. We are responding as a society, mm. as a well-bonded society, I would like mm. to say. Well-bonded well bonded. society. Well-bonded. Qualified. Yes. I like to stand back and look at things when I'm in these events. Mm. All right. I like the, the one that is never going to be in the news. Mm. That's the one that I like to pick out. <laughs> when we were at the uh, 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 unveiling of the radio set by Carlso on Monday, even the first lady, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sonwolu, was surprised when her husband probably left an ESCO meeting to come and lend a hand. Wow. Yes. Wow. He strolled in, strolled in there, came in, spent a few minutes, gave his word of uh, mm. appreciation and inspiration, That's and right. then left, right? No one is going to probably report that in the news that, oh, uh, Mr. Governor just came in briefly, mm. but I know that they do the escorts on Monday, Shah. That's right. That I know for well, a fact. Definitely. So I looked at the time. If this guy is here at this time, this thing is very important. So that underscores the bonded nature of our response to this situation. Mm. Well, well, we are appreciative of the fact that um, things are taking shape, things are moving, the education sector, the, the prospect is very glaring, and the students, in whatever classification of their category, they are happy that at least I know that we buy data now, and I know with this support to reach out to others who could not really reach out, I mean, get access to this, they have not been provided. It has done more than what we expect in this time. The bottom line is, uh, at the end of it all, the students are seeing a change in the narrative. And that change, they have come to embrace. And that change must be sustained. How do we intend, or do you, from your own perspective, as a consultant, working with the government, even with the corporate world, see sustainability in all what we're saying now? I have no doubt about this. Repeatedly and repeatedly, different government officials have come to emphasize mm. that this situation that we are in, I mean, the whole point is not just to do things. The whole point is to do what we are doing to achieve a certain end, to ensure that our students continue to learn and learn well, mm. to ensure that the people who teach them are empowered sufficiently to be able to deliver uh, uh, quality teaching regardless of the barrier that COVID-19 has created, right? Hmm. Are, we, are we ever going to go back from that? Are we ever going to, you know, uh, uh, stop the progress, the march that we have, you know, commenced? We're not going to do that. So it's going to go on. It's going to be sustained. Hmm. It's not just a government thing anymore. This COVID-19 response has gone beyond the government. While hmm. the government is doing what it's doing, the people become inspired looking mm. at what government is doing to make wonderful contributions to ensure that our society is not collapsed. 
So we, we are never at any point in time going to go back from that. Mm. We will continue to make this progress mm. steadily. We are seeing a new development here where the government is very emphatic and affirmative in their strictness of compliance to ensure that uh, with this COVID-19, no child, we don't lose any child or no child must be killed by COVID-19. That is the position of government. Hence, all of these safe, safety measures, guide and all of that. Some schools are trying to violate that. Recently, we understand that that was happening. Some private schools, though, and the government took the big stick in welding it and, of course, shutting down some of the schools. Yeah. Is that the right step? I mean, what is the only take in that? I think it is for us to do that. I think it is utterly irresponsible of anybody, any business concern, let alone a business concern that offers uh, learning to young children mm. to cause them to be gathered in any enclosure at this time when the whole mass media the social media is awash with uh, 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 notices and announcements on the danger of gathering people together it's just utterly irresponsible of them mm. Mm. okay now look at it this way mr craig these children are a vulnerable group of people very special. For them to uh, conduct themselves and manage themselves in compliance with COVID-19 guidelines, they need support, right? They need support to be so, so guided. Now you have brought them together in a large number just because you want to profit. That's, that's irresponsible. Now, the government has wielded the big city because they have no choice. The government has responsibility for the safety of our lives and limbs. Precisely. Not just our property, hmm. right? And when you bring the young people together in a place, you gather them together allegedly because you want to teach them and make money off their parents, the government will not sit down and be watching this. Ten of the schools. Ten, it's in the news. Oh, yes, it's trending it right now in the news. The Director General of the uh, Local State Office, Office of Quality, of quality Education. Education, Quality Assurance, uh, mm -hmm. Mrs. Abiola Siriki Ayeni, That's right. was on the street with her uh, staff members from the Monitoring and Investigation mm -hmm. Department. And they found so yeah in large numbers according to report yeah there are not a lot of them doing it but it is even around it's like having one rotten tomato mm. in a basket of many good ones mm. right it will affect yeah them. these children have sibling at, at home they come to the school mix up with other people go back home what what if they pick this virus to the house and infect people and they go to various homes right the danger of the spread is too high than for the government to just ignore them or give them a slap on the wrist. It's the a, a right yes, step in it's the right, right direction it's a very on the part of government. Yes. To and really besides that, it will serve as a deterrent for any other school or business concern that is looking at the possibility of testing the resolve mm. of Lagos State government. Mm. Testing the resolve. They should not test the, the resolve State of the government. government. And the government is doing yes. very real serious they about are, it. They are abreast of what they're doing. Mm. One thing I'm worried about, uh, sir, if you pardon me, is to ask is private schools are really agitating to really uh, key into government activities. Uh, come, some of the things I'm seeing coming in as text messages now, I cannot pick all of them. But so uh, suggesting that when with private schools, also really benefit from all of this largesse and the beauty of uh, what the state government uh, or government schools are already enjoying in terms of uh, the provisions of this new norm that has taken its roots today in the education sector. You are, uh, I mean, you are part of this, so it should yes, be Yes, I won't, I won't disconnect from the, the people who have engaged my services mm -hmm. just because I want to be politically correct. Mm -hmm. No, I will not. Right. I will say it as it, as is, it is in my mind. Now, what beyond the vices, apart from the vices that the government is giving to uh, students and people in public schools, the government has on air a lot of learning programs, teaching activities, mm. the, the, the uh, social media, the, the, they have website for learning resources and all these things. I don't think they, that there is any exclusion order for the private schools not to participate. If we are having a program on television where they're teaching chemistry, right? The television set will not know whether the watch, people watching, the viewers are from private school or public school. So these things are there. 
the, the, the timetable of these activities are announced well ahead of time. So they, can, they are, they are uh, very well opportune to, to key into this. Mm. Very well opportune to key into this, mm. okay? So I, I, I would say that if you are in a private school, I am persuaded to believe that it is by choice. Mm. If you want to come to the public school and benefit from it, so if you find it so attractive, why not? Take we'll, we'll come back to it because there is this understanding that there is an engagement of uh, that partnership of collaboration. We'll come back to that. Let's just take a quick break here. Uh, we'll come back. We'll take a look at that synergy and uh, we'll blend it and uh, we just move on. We'll be back in another one minute. A friend of mine traveled, got infected with coronavirus, and innocently infected hundreds of other people. To prevent further community transmission and spread of coronavirus, please visit any of the 27 new COVID-19 sample collection centers established by the Lagos State Government in the 20 local government areas of the state. If you are coughing, have sore throat, fever, breathing difficulties, and chest pain, please call the nearest walking center to drop your blood sample. Visit to the center is strictly by appointment. Also, if you have had close contact with confirmed or suspected cases, call 08000 Corona, that is 08000026762 for necessary assistance. Remember, stigmatization of coronavirus survivors is wrong. COVID-19 is not a death sentence. Many infected people have been successfully managed and reunited with their families. Early presentation for treatment is key. Don't wait until it is too late. Act now. This message is from the Lagos State Government. of Lagos State is in the lockdown demands that we take personal responsibility to prevent the transmission of coronavirus from person to person. Wearing of face mask is now compulsory for everyone in all public places. Since someone can have the virus without showing symptoms, wearing of face mask is to prevent community transmission by ensuring that the droplets generated from coughing or sneezing by infected persons do not get into others. It also ensures that we do not touch our eyes, mouths or noses with hands with which we have touched an infested surface. Let's flatten the curve. Support the government by using the face mask as a symbol of solidarity in the fight against the deadly pandemic. Anyone found in the public without a face mask will be prosecuted. Please wear your mask always. This message is from the Lagos State Government. Dear Lagosians, the community transmission rate of COVID-19 cases is alarming. Social distancing can reduce person-to-person -person contact and prevent the spread of the contagious coronavirus. We must prevent congregational-based transmission by reducing the number of times people come in contact with you. Remember to maintain a six-feet gap or two arms length at all times. Maintain social distancing always. It's the new normal. This message is brought to you by Lagos Television. Taking a test when feeling unwell and disclosing your positive status of COVID-19 is a sign of empathy for your community. Stigmatization of coronavirus patients is dangerous and may prevent people from disclosing their status. Spread facts, not stigma. COVID-19 is not a death sentence. This message is brought to you by Lagos Television.
Well, it's good to have you back. We are still very much here with my guest, and we're taking a look at what we've been talking about. I was trying to say, sir, that um, the connect and disconnect should be connected, and uh, that is why we talk about this synergy of collaboration and partnership with the private sector as stakeholders in this business. So the need to, start, I mean, to, to really bond must still be there. I, I don't know whether you disagree with that. It has to. It has to be. The government is not a government because it's a government. The government is running to uh, make life and living comfortable for the people. And who are the people? They are the people in businesses. They are the people living in society. Everybody. So if anybody is supporting if anybody is supporting the government whether as a corporate concern or as an individual mm. right they are doing unto themselves a world of good the children in primary schools today we want they become managing directors of big corporations right they will end up running the government that people are running today they will end up being customers to bank mm. so if the bank is investing money to prevent the spread of COVID-19, to bring soccer to people during this pandemic and the attendant um, difficulties mm. that it presents, uh, building a future for themselves. So does mm. everybody. Mm. So we must all come together, work together, benefit from the synergy of so doing, right, mm. for the good of our society. It's not a favor to the government. All right, let's take some text messages here. This one said, uh, this is from Sandra. Uh, Sandra, I am calling from Ibadan. And her point is this, that school resumption is going to be worse. Students can do without touching themselves and can't, can distance themselves. Don't resume now, even primary six, GSS three, or SS three, please. That's just one thinking. Yeah. Do you share the view? I believe so. I believe so. Young children are by nature very exuberant. They will be all over the place. They, 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 they have less care about all those things or the world itself indeed so the only way they can be protected for the time being why this COVID-19 pandemic is raging is for us to keep them at home as much as possible away from where they can gather and then uh, you know contact the virus mm. that's what we can do for now mm. so it's it's the government's call when to open the school but I know that governments all over Nigeria, state governments, are responsible enough and they are opportune to obtain a, a good quality advice from experts, right? Mm. And they will take decisions that will not endanger our lives and, of course, our children out in the schools. Let's take another one here. Uh, he didn't state where, but the person is simply saying, can you please appeal to the state government? to work at a fast pace to enable students to resume school. I'm sorry. I appreciate schools online, the e-learning program, but some private schools seems to, weak, to be weakening on the, in their efforts. What can be done, please? Sorry, I didn't get that question. That some private schools are weakening. They are not really uh, tapping well into the online uh, process of learning the way the government schools are so it's like they are not really there the way the person so puts it so I'm aware I'm, I'm, I'm aware that you know a, a lot of schools who were you know prior to now not of such a very high standard mm. right particularly in the provision of ICT facilities for their uh, uh, students okay uh, they, 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 they struggled at the initial stage but in the ICT market, and I'm, I'm very well aware of this, a lot of things have come up. People are networking and they are offering opportunities, mm -hmm. right? Even me, I myself do get, soli uh, I get solicited to patronize this, even though I don't need it. And mm -hmm. when I do, when I come by these opportunities, I, as much as possible, make it available via our uh, social media platforms, mm -hmm. on the internet, our web portal, that this thing is going on. If any school is interested in buying into it, they can contact the providers. A lot of young people, they see a lot of opportunities in developing application softwares, easy to use uh, uh, platforms for schools to come on board. Hmm. Well, this one is saying here, 
uh oh, please we are not to please call in it's distracting you have to please send in your message just a text message alone that's what we'll do please ensure you do not call please it we won't be able to do that uh, let us take yet another one here sir and uh, it's saying here that sir this online lesson is not for the poor it's just the rich people only do you agree with that absolutely disagree absolutely disagree mm. uh, why would we want to exclude any child the, the the mantra here in labor state is that every child matters that's the mantra here as much as possible as much as is practicable mm. all right the government is doing the best they can corporate concerns are joining in individual teachers in their own homes are doing the best they can for the children in their care while the schools were open Mm. Teachers in their individual capacities are developing WhatsApp group, Telegram groups, where learning is going on remotely. Mm. I appreciate the challenge of the need for uh, parents to, you know, buy a lot of data, you know, for their children and their work to be able to access this opportunity. Mm. But then that's the burden that COVID-19 has placed on us. Mm. It's still cheaper for you than to have your child being treated for COVID-19. Oh, precisely. I mean, for me, yeah, the cost uh, of buying I think it, I would agree with that. Yeah, the cost of buying any amount of data is still far, far cheaper than for you to have a child that is... Uh, All right, this uh, one is coming from someone. I said big kudos to Mr. Deboye. I am calling from Emina Crescent. My kids are really benefiting from the classroom in your home. This is a plus. And uh, how do we express this again to understand how these things work? This classroom teaching that Subeb and some others are doing. <clears throat> Apart from what we are doing on LTV here, which is three times a week, plans are on the way to extend it even to lower classes. We're planning that now. On Wazobia TV and Wazobia Radio, the Ministry of Education has deployed, and that has been going on for as long as, if I put it right, should be about six, seven weeks now. Right. These are free to access platforms. The television, all you need is just be sure you have light or put on your generator or if you have inverter facility in your home. You have access to these things. Before these events, a lot of advertisement goes into publicizing the times for airing. Mm. All right. Once you get into it, apart from publicizing, it's on the social media. If you have uh, Twitter access, Google. You can follow also follow Lagos State Ministry of Education, follow uh, Lagos State Suburb, follow uh, Lagos State Office of Education, Quality Assurance, follow TESCOM. They are very, very active. All these uh, uh, government mm. parastatals overseeing education. Uh, we'll just take this last one so that we'll go. It says, Good afternoon, sir. You are really making, oh, Mamma Mia, you are really making good points, sir. My question are as follows If schools do, does not open, when opening places, why opening places like Oshodi, Oshodi, Idumota, and Balogu markets, uh, if schools are where we have a lot of crowd? This is really interesting. Very interesting question. Mm. It's not just that. I think uh, uh, somebody who is very huge in the religious sector has also raised this question that we open uh, the market, we don't allow the churches and mosques to open. Uh, well, it's it's, it's, a, it's a matter of numbers. That's the way I would put it. It's a matter of numbers. Mm. If it is not essential, there is no need for people to access that location where they will gather in large number. The market, if we don't go to market, there will be no food in the house. But the, even the markets are also observing social distance. Distance. And there is a lot of guidelines for them. That's to, right. There is a time restriction. Monday, Monday Wednesday. Wednesday people, uh, Tuesday, there is a lot of that going Saturday. on. So mm. it's not as if the government hates any sector mm. for them to, you know, cause them to be shut down while other sectors are open. They, 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 they have professionally appraised the situation and decisions so have been take taken. Decision. Yeah, decisions have been taken mm. based on the outcome of the appraisers. And it's for our good. Well, we must go now. I want your parting words, at least on a point of submission. What would be your advice to those watching us concerning this area of your specialization and well, the government's position to it? Well, we will continue to appreciate people who access our platforms, the Ministry of Education platform, Super platform, to access learning for their children. And 
I want to personally express my gratitude to all those individual teachers, whether I know you, whether I don't know you, you are out there doing something wonderful and interesting to support learning in this period. Mm. You are the real heroes. Mm. We are also heroes here in wow, the media. Well, we are also doing the job. Might claim that We've been doing this job, <laughs> though we give it to our health workers who are at the front line per se, you yeah. know. Well, we want to thank you for today. We'll My always be there for always. you. I've always rather to come up to My you again. Always. We say very big thank you. Thank well, you. it's a Friday again today, ending the week together. We pray God guiding us, preserving us, keeping us alive again by his own grace to come back next week, God willing, and do what we'll do again together. Looking at various issues, socioeconomic, and not political though, but that which affects the situation of the trend at this time. Until then, we say please be good, let's stay safe, let's comply with the rules of engagement, and let's please flatten the curve. Let's not spread COVID-19. Let us crush it. My colleague will always say that, Joshua Murakio. I always call him the extinguishing it. Until then, please, let's be good together. <laughs>